detecting and mitigating a DNS water torture or NX domain DDoS attack, utilizing adaptive DDoS defense with Arbor Edge Defense and Arbor Enterprise Manager. This video demonstrates how a particular kind of DDoS attack that utilizes DNS can overwhelm DNS servers, and how NetScout's Arbor Edge Defense can intelligently detect and mitigate these types of attacks. What is DNS Water Torture? Very briefly, a DNS water torture attack is a type of DDoS attack, which involves using large numbers of systems known collectively as botnets to generate enormous numbers of DNS requests against a target DNS server overwhelming it. For instance, the domain example.com, let's say the hostname www.example.com exists. The server returns a response containing what's known as an A record with a corresponding IP address. That response is cached, and the requester then may use that IP address to connect to the service. During a DNS water torture or NX domain attack, host names are randomly generated. When a DNS server gets a request for a non-existent host name, it returns a message containing NX domain, which stands for non-existent domain. This is where the NX domain attack gets its original name. Here are some examples of an attack. There are legitimate queries in green, while the attacking queries are in red. Here we see seven attack queries for every good query. But during an actual attack, there could be tens or even hundreds of thousands of attack queries for every legitimate query that comes in. Botnets perform this attack by making DNS queries, both to valid DNS servers on the internet, known as recursive DNS servers, as well as directly to the authoritative DNS server. Requests sent to recursive DNS servers are forwarded to the victim authoritative DNS server, masking the IP address of the attacker. This makes blocking attack traffic difficult. Blocking known botnets can easily be done with good DDoS threat intelligence, but internet DNS servers cannot be blocked outright, since this will directly impact valid users and services. A smarter approach, combining Arbor Adaptive DDoS, machine learning, smart rate limiting, and threat intelligence is the key to mitigating these attacks and keeping your DNS services up and running. Let's see a DNS water torture attack in action and perform a mitigation. Here is the main dashboard for Arbor Enterprise Manager managing Arbor Edge Defense. Notice that the peacetime traffic load varies from about 6 megabits to 8. There are no active alerts and no traffic is being blocked. Now we see an attack. Notice the traffic graph has grown dramatically, with the peak almost 20 times the average. AED has detected an attack and classified this as a DNS flood, specifically a non-existent domain or NX domain query flood, also known as DNS water torture. If we highlight the alert, we can see some details. Shown are the Arbor Edge defense devices which detected the attack, the type, date, and duration of the attack, and so on. Also shown is the protection group, which is where we can enable countermeasures to mitigate the attack. If we click on the protection group, we're brought to a new page, which displays details of the protection group, the traffic graph, an overview of the traffic, an attack analysis, and active protections. Like the main dashboard, our traffic graph shows the massive increase in traffic load. Scrolling down, we can look at the Attack Analysis tab and see adaptive DDoS recommendations for mitigation. Here we see the attack vector, again as DNS NX domain flood, the victim DNS server, the AED device in play, and the recommendations for targeted, specific mitigation. The recommendations include Atlas Threat Intelligence known as AIF for DDoS reputation and NX domain query flood monitoring and protection. We can also look at the Overview tab to see a breakdown of the traffic based on source country and the top services of the affected systems. Further down, we see nearly all the traffic is DNS. Before activating the recommendation protections, let's take a quick look at a packet capture to verify the attack traffic is truly an NX domain flood. From the top menu, click on Explore, then Packet Capture. We can quickly see that the traffic is almost entirely comprised of randomly generated host names for our domain. This proves we're experiencing a DNS water torture attack. Let's return to the main dashboard, select our alert, and go back to the protection group. 
From here, we'll apply the recommended countermeasures to mitigate the attack by clicking on Review and Apply. Here we can review the recommendations. We'll enable non-existent query monitoring and prevention, as well as filtering by threat intelligence provided by NetScout's Atlas Threat Intelligence feed. We'll apply these settings and then return to the main dashboard. Looking at the traffic graph, let's set the interval to 5 minutes. Here we begin to see that the attack traffic is now being blocked and the past traffic has returned to roughly its baseline level. Going back to the protection group, we can see that this specific protection group's countermeasures are mitigating the DNS attack. By clicking on the Protections tab, we can see both the Atlas Intelligence feed protections as well as the non-existent domain flood protections are blocking the traffic. We can also see the added marker on the various traffic graphs, indicating a change was made. In our case, this meant applying the recommended settings to the protection group. If we head back to Explore, Packet Capture, and select Dropped Packets, we see further evidence that NX Domain Rate Limiting is now successfully mitigating the attack, keeping the critical DNS services available. Thanks for watching this demo of mitigating DNS water torture using NetScout Arbor Edge Defense and Arbor Enterprise Manager.